now we're going to look at our tempos. Now on some things you will see uh, a tempo written, which is a guide on how to lift, lift the weight. We don't always have to lift the weight nice and fast. Sometimes doing it with a certain amount of control obviously gives us the stimulus that our body needs. The way we generally write it is with four numbers. The first part is the eccentric part of the movement. Then the second number is the pause. The third number is the concentric part of the movement. And the fourth is the pause before you either start your next rep or obviously you're, you're finished. So let's say, um, We'll, I'll write a basic tempo up, okay, where we're using two, two, you will see the number X and two. So this is quite a very simple one, all right? So let's use, for instance, our, our squat, all right? So the first number would be after we've unwrapped the bar, we lower to the bottom of our squat, for a count of two, so that would be one, two on the way down. I would pause in the bottom of the squat for a count of two, one, two. Now, when you see the number X, that is when you go as fast as you can. So that would be the upward movement of the squat. So that would be up as fast as you can. And then the two here at the end is also the pause before you would start your next rep obviously at two on the way down. So that is for our squat. Now, for our chin up, okay, it is a little bit different. Uh, depending on obviously what type of movement it is as, as to which way it goes. With our chin up, we actually start at the third number. Okay, because we do the concentric part of the movement first, that's why uh, we start here, because obviously this is our eccentric part of the movement. This is our pause. This is our concentric part of our movement. This is our next pause, okay? So there's four parts of obviously just about any lift. So we start here because we don't start at the top of a chin up. We start at the bottom. So we go up in our chin up fast. We pause at the top and we pause. We slowly lower. For two, and we pause in the bottom. Okay, so that's how it differs a little bit depending on our movements. So as you can see, remember the X obviously means make the movement nice and fast, and that's for our concentric part of the movement, and the other numbers determine the amount of time that it takes in our pauses at either the top or bottom of the movement or the eccentric. Now, if you have any questions about this, because sometimes it can be a little bit confusing, always drop me a message on social media, obviously here on YouTube, or anywhere that you can get in contact with me. All right, good luck, happy pausing.